Hello and good day once again. Welcome to this, the series of Simple Assembly Language Programming using Visual Studio 2019. In the past video, I've shown you how to configure your Visual Studio 2019 for assembly language programming. And we have created a simple project called the End Factorial, in which we have also, have also created a file called main.asm to store our first assembly language program. To write an assembly language program in the IBM in Visual Studio, you have to start it with a with a simple code. Let me go through the code one by one. I have already prepared it for you. First, we assign a name called the end factorial, which means this is a factorial for computing rather a program for computing the nth factorial. Uh, the semicolon marks the comment. Every time we start with a semicolon, the following contents will not be interpreted by Visual Studio as a line or a, as a command. It will be skipped during the compilation process. The point .386 directive indicates that Visual Studio will use the 386 architecture for for IBM PCs for the Pentium 386 architecture, which means that the instruction set will be based on the instruction instruction set of the uh, Pentium based or 386 architecture. The next line that we need to add is the model. The model indicates that we are going to be using 32-bit uh, nodes. We are saying flat and standard 12, which means we are not going to do calls to remote portions of the port. The next part, which we will indicate, is when you say a, a stop, the next portion of memory will be used as the the memory stack, it is the portion where the pop and push commands will execute on. And then we will identify the exit code. Okay. We are not going to be exiting using the standard exit, but we are going to use the exit code used for Windows applications. And then traditionally, no, the data is indicated first before the code. So we will now follow with our data. I will give you this code on the description below. Okay. So uh, we will start with a program which we in which we wrote for the IAS, and then we will we will uh, translate them individually i will also write the code of the, the is code in the portion below we will start it with a dot code directly okay. now uh, this portion of codes are those that are used to compute and and multiplier rather and factorial using the IAS. We are just going to translate this individually, line per line, to illustrate the point that this is also uh, equivalent. They are equivalent. Now, we normally indicate our code with a start label so that we can go back to the beginning. A label is actually a, an indicator in our code which tells that this will be replaced by a memory address during runtime. And it is usually terminated with a colon. In our case, we can no longer indicate memory addresses because we are using assembly language. And the actual memory address addresses will be determined during runtime. So let us translate this line per line. The first line is, remember this is the beginning of no? our start. The first line is load M2. What is this in the IBM PC? 
in the IBM PC, we have move EAX. EAX. And two. Get the equivalent. Which means that we are setting the EAX register to store the value of M M2, which is our partial product. Let's change this. In this our in this example, our first partial product is one. The next line is mul M1. Let's translate this. In the IBM PC, the equivalent is almost the same. You say mul M1 because we have named our variable as M1, and we will comment this out. The next, it, the next command is move store M2. In the IBM PC, we use move in order to do both load and store. But in this case, the address and the registers are interchanged. When you say move, move M2 EAF. Remember that the first parameter stores indicate or rather indicates the destination. And the second parameter indicates the source. So in this case, our destination is memory. Our source is the accumulator register called EAX. And then our next command is load M1. We know right away that this is also move, move to EAX by saying move EAX M1. That's our variable name. Let's not erase that because that's store load but the equivalent in the IAS. And then the next is to subtract. Okay. To subtract our uh, our decrement. M M1 remember is our first multiplier. So we are going to subtract the one to convert con to compute the next multiplier from four to three so sub m3 is sub m eax let's just indicate it as, as capital m3 we will indicate the registers as capital and the variables as well so that we can identi uh, identify them. And then we have store M1. We know that in the IBM PC, store is also used, done using a move. This time, interchanging the parameters, we'll say move M1 EA X. And then we follow with a load M3. So in the IBM PC, rather in the Intel processor also, we know that this is just another move. So we'll say move, move EAX M3. So this time we don't have to do any tracing or any analysis. We just translate literally each command one by one. And then here we sub M1. So this is sub EAX M1. The equivalent in the IAS is this is the IAS equivalent. And then we jump plus to we don't know this yet. 9L we don't know this, but we can stay, we can say this is the end of the loop. Okay. So that we can do a jump plus. Or we can say, let's change this, finish. To indicate that we are finishing the loop. So we will change our jump plus into a jump plus to the finish. And how can we do that? Okay. Instead of the sub, okay, the sub will not do in we will not do a comparison. We will change this to CMP. CMP is a special instruction like a sub, but this time 
will also determine the status of the flags register. So we are saying CMP EAX M1 and then the equivalent of jump plus is JAD. Jump finish. Okay. And our 4L is our start. This is now our 4L. Remember, this is our forehead. Let me double check that. Okay, that's correct. So this is our forehead. Load M2 is our forehead. Now, we'll have to change jump 10 to 19. This is the, uh, this is the, this is the load, the exit for the, the, the IAS machine. So in finish, we load M2. So we'll replace this with move M2. E-A-X. E -A -X. M2. Okay. And then we will replace this with mool M1. And then this our hall, the standard hall. Is this this a Windows exit hub, and then we terminate our program with the standard indicators. Main and P and N. Main. Make sure we save this by clicking save. We have to remove the addresses. Because remember the addresses. Jump for 2 to 19. We have to, to replace this. The jump for, by the way, is J and P start. This is our start, which is our 4 L. So we, we are now ready to trace this. We will do that in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.